um, what we have uh, found is that as uh, our coil chairman uh, explained to you all there is a need in this country uh, to generate more entrepreneurs because that entrepreneurs are the lifeline of development of our country especially the economic development and then now having ended this 30 years uh, war now we have another war, war to win that is the economic development war so in order to support that i think uh, being the products of this free education system of this country it is our duty and endeavor to help the government help, help the nation by uh, giving something back um, uh, to the development or the well-being of this country. So that is why we as COIL, um, product of once again this motherland, um, thought of coming and joining with the university to share our success stories with you people, the students especially, because we thought that university is the right <laughs> Uh, forum for us to launch this uh, launch this uh, uh, program because we believe that university students have the uh, have all the capacities and uh, um, the qualities to become an entrepreneur they have the thinking ability they have the edu basic education they have uh, all other ingredients um, to basically take this entrepreneurial uh, program forward. So that, that is why we, without going to any other institution, we decided on a university to come and um, start this program. So our first objective is to inculcate or otherwise generate an enthusiasm within the university system, within the students to become an entrepreneur. Because that is where we want to start. Don't think that this is a program where we come and then pump in money and then give you some money to start some uh, companies and, you know, uh, stop at that. No, it is not. We are not going to come and give you money straight away. First, what we want to do is, across all faculties, without any limitation to arts faculty or science faculty, we want to talk to all the uh, potential entrepreneurs or students of this university and share our success story and tell you all how we came to this position as uh, our chairman Vegapitya, Mr. Vegapitya uh, told you all all our members over 115 or 120 members that we have are well to do people in this country but almost all have started with nothing. They have started their life from the scratch. All of us have gone through very difficult periods. Of course, as he said, um, we have had times where we did not have money even to buy our uh, food. So we had to skip some of the meals of the day. We had only sometimes money to buy only uh, one meal a day. So two meals we had to skip. So that is how we started. But we did not Disca get ourselves discouraged uh, because we did not have anything. So this is the story that we want to come and tell you that even if you look at our university students, maybe 90 to 95 percent of the students are coming from rural villages. They are coming from ordinary families. They are not wealthy people. They are, uh, they are facing a lot of financial difficulties in uh, doing their day-to-day -day work. So, Having all these things, what we want to tell you is that don't get discouraged. You can become, you can conquer the world. Become a very successful entrepreneur and a businessman and a win, I mean, become a good person, wealthy person and create wealth. Even if you don't have anything today, <coughs> what you all got to have is your will, your determination and your, your decision to become an entrepreneur. So here, what we are trying to do is to give you, tell you what our success story, how we started and how we have come this far, so that we create an enthusiasm in you to decide to become an entrepreneur. So once you have decided to, do, uh, to become an entrepreneur, we will hold your hand and take you uh, through this path up to a certain extent. We are not going to... Uh, spoon uh, feed you throughout the program but we will actually show you the path and take your hand and then 
uh, uh, hold your hand and take you to a certain distance and then let you go on your own. So by that time we are, we are very confident that you will be able to stand on your own feet. So this is the program that we are basically going to do. In doing so, we have actually drafted a, a quite a, um, a comprehensive action plan in that we have a lecture series where we will be basically sending our successful entrepreneurs to talk to you all uh, at least once a month basis and then uh, within that of course we, we are planning to set up a club the entrepreneurial uh, emerging on entrepreneurs club and in that club of course we are going to uh, launch some competitions and then uh, get you the opportunity to come out with new ideas, new business thinking. Before doing that, of course, we will give you how to create a certain innovative uh, uh, thinking and then uh, come out with new, uh, new products. Then, uh, then from that competition, of course, from the selected, uh, we will select a few uh, good uh, innovative concepts and then we will even fund them to set up uh, sp uh, spin-off companies and then if you need the uh, finances of course we will find finances for you all and then we will take you uh, to the doorstep of the success and let you go from there so this is basically what we are going to do madam vice chancellor uh, members of the chamber uh, colleagues and students uh, i am very happy to see a kind of a paradigm shift that is taking place in the university system i have to uh, say something about the history of universities that is uh, in uh, say even very lately the universities were living in isolation that is I would say sometimes the universities claim that they were living in splendid isolation that is they were they had not, they didn't want to do anything with the community without any relationship with the rest of the community whether it is chamber or industry or anything they wanted to think on their own in order to seek truth. That was the situation for a very long time. That is the reason why universities were called the ivory tower institutions. But now the things, have, things are changing. The universities are expected to establish very close linkages with outside agencies which are involved in economic development, education, higher education and so many things. Now I find that uh, the chamber is also coming forward to train our, our students in respect of this entrepreneurship, which is sometimes lacking in our students. Madam Vice Chancellor, uh -huh. deans, and uh, members from the uh, chamber, COIL, uh, I think uh, with the initial idea came from actually Vice Chancellor uh, to establish an uh, entrepreneurial culture at the University of Colombo. So we started uh, one program together with the Young Entrepreneur Sri Lanka, chaired by Mr. Patrick Amarasinghe. Yesterday we had a uh, uh, meeting. We called actually all the students representing Faculty of Arts, first year and the second year. So they actually briefly uh, explained what they are going to do with the uh, graduates from the Faculty of Arts. So I think this program quite different in a way because they wanted to bring all the graduates from the University of undergraduate from the University of Colombo representing all the faculties. I think it's it's quite good uh, idea. Vice Chancellor, Madam, and all deans, sirs, and uh, chairman, and all other coil members. I think actually now uh, today is very important day because we met uh, young Sri Lankan entrepreneurs with budding entrepreneurs. Why I'm telling budding entrepreneurs mean our students are actually seeking that opportunity for years. Actually, they have recognized that going behind all the time asking job from the government or any other people is actually useless. Now, they have recognized their contribution to develop their own business. Now, I think because of this opportunity, they will find out different potential they have. They will go back to their home and villages, they find what are the potential available in their home and what are the skills they have. Then they will design themselves what project they can start. For that, actually, there was a lacking area that leadership, especially entrepreneurship, skill they have studied, uh, the subject they have studied, but training is very important. 
So I think having this collaboration, especially from Sri Lanka, especially from COIL, I think our students will find their own path to develop the, their own business. Good morning, everybody. Actually, as undergraduates of University of Colombo, we are very thankful for giving this opportunity for us, especially for the chamber. And uh, Madam Vice Chancellor, we thank you uh, for giving this opportunity. And uh, I think that we can give our fullest support uh, for this program. Hopefully, you will start it from August. And uh, I think my colleagues and everybody will uh, give their fullest support. Uh, and uh, I thank you for selecting University of Colombo for this program. And thank you.